the problem is that how you are going to use this date picker in Microsoft Excel into specific cells or in the into the table columns. So I'm going to show you that how you can use this date picker in Microsoft Excel. So let's start this. We just need to download the uh, file from the this download button, right? And then uh, the file will be downloaded in zip format. So you just need to extract it. So I have done this already and you can see this. So I'm going to open this date picker. So you can see uh, the date picker will be open in that uh, form. So you can see this, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the second tab or and then press this button. <clears throat> so you can see this, the date picker is in front of me. And when you select any date, the data, uh, the date format will pop up in that specific cell. And there are three calendars in that format, uh, as you can see uh, in that website, right? So let's open other as well right you can see this and there is third one as well so there are three uh, different date pickers with different format and the code is already available right so the problem is by using that code uh, you cannot use that date picker in into a specific cell right so what i'm going to uh, show you uh, i will write a little uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a short code and we'll show you that how you can use this date picker into different workbook, right? All right, so I'm going to add a different workbook here. All right, just do it. All right, so you just need to open a developer tab or you can use a simple short key from the keyboard alt and f11 right so i'm going to open the visual basic editor so let's use this one all right so you can see that there's a workbook that i opened uh, recently and there's a workbook with date picker so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move that date picker into a new workbook right so you can see this the date picker is also available into a new workbook so uh see here you are using all the cells are empty and when you select on any single cell the date picker don't uh don't pop up right so let's write a short code here then you will see that a date picker is a uh, pop-up so what i'm going to use uh i'm going to use a, a worksheet selection change function right so let's write this first so here's the worksheet selection change function. So I'm going to write a little code that will help us to pop up a calendar. So let's try. Um, shoot it as state. Right. Then. It's not a lengthy code it's a very small code so you need to write this code and then you can use uh, you can pop up or you can use that calendar into any cell or any column you want to pop up that calendar right so the sheet name is uh, sheet one I'm going to use a range where when I select uh, that range after uh, developing that code, the calendar will pop up on that range, right? So my range will be A1 to uh, C100, right? This is my first line, and now I'm going to write the second line for
So here is the second line. Now there is third line for to call the calendar, right? I hope I'm um, writing the correct spelling. So it won't give me an error. Uh, gives me an error. Why? Because I didn't use this one. Calendar form. The spells are correct. So uh, you can see that there's a last line uh, with the condition. So I'm going to write this one. Due date not equal to zero. Then pop of the calendar. But now closing the condition. So what we did was uh, we just write a few lines of code uh, with that range. So when I click on this range, then our calendar is going to pop up. So uh, there's actually a line that calls a calendar. So let's use this. Uh, now they are giving me an error. I think I have, uh, I did a little mistake there. All right. So we need to use the correct reference for this selected. I think this the all right. I'm going to I'm do selected. It was a selected date, right? Let's do this, right? You can see this in the calendar is pop up here in the. So what you need to do is if you are using a table and you want to pop up that calendar into uh, the table column, you just need to write a table column here. What you need to do is uh, just uh, do this in way. Uh, you do this. I'm going to uh, use a calendar right now. You just need to do is uh, write the get the column name from here, right? And copy that thing to that range so the calendar will pop up as well here it's, it's not pop up the calendar table thing the comma won't no oh i think i did a wrong thing i just need to select the entire column what i did i just only write a header so that is the header name here I'm going to use this here what are you doing now you can see this right right this is the free calendar uh, date picker. You can download that date picker from that website. I'm going to mention this website link uh, into my YouTube video description. So